Hi everyone, CG Seb here and we are back for another Fluent tutorial. Uh, today we're going to try to reproduce this and uh, let's go. So first of all, I'm going to create a square shape. So control shift uh, to make it square and then make it long like this. Uh, we can actually add a bevel pressing B around the object. And then I think we're good to go for the base shape. So right click, select the object, add the bevel. Uh, make sure to not make it too big because we're gonna have some artifacts later on. And uh, then the first step is actually to make an inset. And the inset is actually gonna make it like it is going around the object. So if you go like this and then press V, you see that the inset is actually going all around here at the object and we can actually change how deep it goes like that, for example. Um, I'm gonna probably add a bevel, pressing B, C to change the type like that and it is actually a little bit too wide so I'm gonna click here on dimension and then reduce it a bit like so great um, now we can just click here on the pencil just click normal click and then uh, we can uh, draw again we have the bottom part that is sliced but not the middle one. So to make that, we're gonna actually use uh, the slice tool here. Right click on this, and then we're gonna actually make a slice. So make it in the middle, and we will move it uh, afterward. So you press V, and then you can just move it a little bit down like this, and then you can just press A and move it to the side and the goal here you need to zoom in a little bit is to make it as close as this as you can so probably something like that and then uh, you can still reduce the bevel of this uh, just now you can reduce it like this and this will fix the issue So we have the bottom part that is uh, that's cool. And now for the uh, middle part. So first of all, I can make the simple cut, uh, the simple slice, sorry, on the top. This is pretty standard. Press V, go all around the object. And then uh, we have here a specific cut. So we have a slice that is like this on uh, the height of the object and we have one that is going all around the object and that is stopping here. So to make that we're gonna actually need to make the f slice here first. So the side slice is always gonna be the one that you're gonna start with and uh, the rule for that is always make the slice that is taking all the um, the height or all the width of the object first. So we're gonna make this one first and then we're gonna go uh, to select this object and now we can make this slice over there. And if you can see now, this slice is gonna stop here because of this big one that is uh, done first. And now we have a slice that is going all around the object. So that's a, a cool effect you can uh, you can create. Okay, so now for the side part, uh, this is uh, very easy. You can just make a slice like this. Uh, sorry, press R like this. By the way, I'm holding shift uh, to draw from the, the center. 
from the, 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 the dots you clicked on first. So good. Uh, we can right click and then now we can make a door like uh, to open it. So this is very useful. Just make a slice like so. And uh, the fact that we are going a little bit down here, uh, it's actually make it stop around here. So all the lines are, uh, all the intersections are at the same level. That's why we use a slice actually. Uh, let's add a small bevel on the top. And then we can right click. Good, so we have a nice uh, nice side. Let's take uh, the other part. So the other side is actually a slice around here, but it is um, going deep here in this bottom part. We're gonna actually make the slice on the top part. So like so, for example, I'm gonna actually go a little bit the bottom and then I'm gonna move it up a little bit like this. Good, so you can add a bevel and now you say okay this is good we have a slice on the top but here we don't have the, the hole in the bottom. Uh, so first of all I'm gonna press S and make it a little bit smaller and then you can right click. And now if you show the boolean by pressing greater than, lower than, or just go F and uh, click uh, this object, this uh, icon, sorry. Uh, you can then select this cutter, press shift, click on the bottom part. And now if you press F and click on this icon, this will actually make a boolean operation with this so then you can use slice for example if you want to slice cut and I can uh, switch as you want but uh, for this case we want a cut so that's cool you can just right click hide the boolean and now we have this effect that is uh, like this is the same uh, part but for one object it is a cut and for one object it is a slide so a slice so so that's pretty cool uh, now we can make the top part. For the top part, you can actually uh, use the inset face. So if you press F, use a tool uh, and then click on this button. We're going to actually be able to select this face, press I, and then go to the left to go inside the face like so. So we can make it like that, for example, and then we click and press enter. And now if we go to the left, it goes inside the object. If we go to the right, it goes outside. We can validate and we can choose slice. And now we have the lid of uh, the box. So uh, this, is, uh, this is a cool technique you can use. Uh, right click on this one. Um, we actually have here a specific bevel that is actually a chamfer. And uh, to make this one, uh, we're gonna make it uh, destructive, but we're gonna make it at the end uh, when we will be done with this face, because then we need to uh, apply all the modifiers here and uh, we will not be able to modify them if we don't like them. So first of all, we make sure that we are okay with the top part and then we go destructive. So here again, uh, we can use the inset face, select this one, press high, and then press click, press enter, go inside and use a slice again. But this time uh, we're gonna actually cut this um, because on the reference that we have, we have a cut corner around here. You can just uh, validate the cut. And then if you show the Boolean and select this one, the inside one, 
now you can cut the cutter. This is a technique that is used in uh, Fluent and this is a term that is used uh, in the Fluent community that is uh, cut the cutter and is actually cutting a Boolean object. So if now if I take the shape tool and I click here and I press control, I will be able to snap by 45 degrees. So like so, like this and we go outside the object like this and now we can shift click, press V and now you can see that the cutter in white is actually cutting uh, the red cutter that we have inside. And now you can right click, hide the boolean and we have this uh, really cool effect around here. Good, so what do we have next? We have like a handle, we can make a slice. So that's that's a lot of slice uh, for this model actually, but uh, some uh, some you can make some really cool uh, effects in uh, art surface with a slice slice tool. I, I I use it a lot, and you can make a, a cut, just a simple cut like so, and you don't go too deep. Probably something like that just to make like this is a, a button that you press once and then it's open. Uh, so that's cool. And then on the top part here, we have some uh, some round cuts and they are on the diagonal like this. So to make this, uh, we're gonna actually uh, right click and now you can see that the grid is actually aligned uh, based on the axis of uh, the world and we want them to be a diagonal. So the pretty cool thing is that we have a diagonal right here. So if we press A, now we're gonna be able to click on this and then here and we have the grid that is aligned on this line. So that's uh, that's cool effects you can do. And if you click creates a cut like so. Now if you use the array tool, it will be also aligned with the grid that you just uh, aligned. So that's cool effects you can make. Uh, if you want to follow a line that is existing on your object, you can always uh, rotate the grid and align on two points. So we have an artifact here, but uh, we'll fix it uh, right now. So to fix the artifacts, as usual, we just show the wireframe and then we analyze what is going wrong. And this is this. Uh, now you can just go to edit mode. Now we don't see what we're doing. So we can actually click on all of those button here to actually show the shape in edit mode. And now if we uh, control R, it's gonna add a line here. Uh, we can move it and you can see the line is actually moving here. So you make one that is aligned with the first circle and then you control R again here and then you move it until it shows and sometimes it's creating some weird effect like this. So when it's not working like that and you don't really see what you're doing, you can just um, control Z. And now you can just uh, disable those and show and hide the boolean with the greater than, lower than. And now if we go to the top view and then control R, if we control our ear, we're gonna be able to align it with the Boolean object. And um, the thing that is important to do is actually to select the both uh, lines that we created. So we need to select this vertex and this vertex. And now if you just uh, shift F, it will go back to object mode and clean the mesh around here. The Shift F is a fluent uh, um, 
tool that is actually removing artifacts and uh, going back at the same time to edit mode. So we have like a small overlap here, or we can just uh, take this, move it on G axis. No, uh, you can go here and then move it a bit like so. Good. So we can hide the wireframe for this one. We can add a cool effect that is, uh, we can make some kind of a grid. So if we go to the cut and then cut it not entirely, but almost with a very tiny cut like this, uh, then you can array it, press C to change the number of elements. Boom, I'm gonna make this one and then press GZ, move it a bit down. And now if you press S, you can, oh, sorry, if you press S, now you can make it a little bit deeper. Good, right click and here again, uh, we're gonna need to fix those artifacts. So edit mode, Control R, and you can just right click to leave it in the middle because we will be perfectly aligned with the middle of this cut. So that's uh, already perfect. Uh, Shift F and boom, now the line is perfectly in the middle. So that's cool. We can hide wireframe. We need to go and select this one and we're gonna actually press F and press Alt and hold Alt and click on this flag here. And what it will do, it will apply all the modifiers here besides the outer bevel. And now we can actually go to edit mode, uh, go to edge mode, select the uh, this, uh, I don't want to select the inside, so we're gonna actually need to select with control and then click old control and click to select only the outer part. Good, now we can control B and make it like so. So now it is a flat edge around here can go back to object mode and we have this effect. Uh, here we have an overlap because we need to reduce a little bit the bevel of this. Good, and we have this effect that is a flat edge inside. And uh, that's a pretty cool uh, effect, but you need to go to uh, the destructive mode meaning that you need to apply all the modifiers with the fluent uh, functionality. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And if you haven't seen my latest video on how I uh, find inspiration, I leave you the video right here. And see you on the next one.